So now that we've got our site image set up, we're going to create a few more layers and do a quick conceptual design for our proposed building inside the city. So you've got some simple modeling tools and sketch tools and advanced modeling tools here inside the format interface. The simple one to use is the sketch pencil tool and uh, I've aligned my grid here. I'm going to uh, start sketching and sketching with my alignment to the grid. You can hit tab and bring up the dialog to enter in your own uh, numerical input here. So if I just want to add that dimension value of being 42, hit tab. Uh, likewise here, I can hit tab and type in 70 and then bring it around to the end there and close off, close off that point there. So uh, when I flick to my 3D view, I have a floor plate. Just click on it once and then the extrusion button will come up. Like everything, when you want to enter a dimension value, just hit tab. And now we have the solid basis for our tower design. I'm going to keep this one reasonably simple. One thing I want to do here is add some levels. And you can add the number of levels and the distance. So I'll make the floor to floor between each level 4 meters. And now that creates the levels for my building. When I go and select it all and turn on use levels, you'll see them displaying in blue there. The interesting thing here is this will transfer through into Revit as well, so you don't lose this information when you go from Format to Revit. So I'm just adding a few more additional levels here, and I'm going to finish up the design by just sculpting the top of the building a little bit, working on the roof design. So very simply we have a massing object, we can grab any uh, point or vertice or edge of the building and drag it down to suit, so I'm just grab that, e that uh, edge or I can grab a point and pull the whole item down as needed. And now I'm starting to sculpt my design and this is enough for a conceptual massing design to uh, place it inside a format environment and then export it out to use it inside of Infoworks which I'll be showing in later videos. So object properties, I'm just giving it a name. I can assign it to a layer for better control. You can see here it's got the volume available and the area by level. It has the location of where it is, it knows the gross area, and we can set up a site area for the footprint of the building that it's sitting on, and put together a target square meter rate, uh, rate and we're going to get uh, a floor to area ratio as a result. So you can set up a few simple properties on that design and get some instant feedback. 